Here I'm going to give you an introduction on what an if statement is and how to use the if statement and its function. So let's first of all explain what it is. The if statement is a function that allows you to compare values and spit out a result based on whether the value was true or false. And that's the most basic explanation of what it is. If a value is true, do this. If it's false, do that. And there are many ways that you can sort of customize the basic statement, if you will. So let me give you an example. I'm going to show you how to use the most basic if statement. What I have here are three salesmen, their yearly sales, their experience, and their salary. I have their sales target right here and what they'll get if they get a bonus. So for the basic if statement, I want to figure out if they met their quota. Did they meet their sales target? Yes or no? So what you do for that, I'm going to go over here and the if statement goes equals if open parentheses and you'll notice as soon as you type that in you see all the elements you need in the bottom a logical test, a value if that test is true and a value if that test is false. So my test is going to be if a salesman yearly sales met or exceeded the sales target. So if, and I'm going to click the cell with the yearly sales, if this cell is greater than or equal to the, se the cell with the sales target. So that's my logical test. If this cell is greater than or equal to this cell. Now I'm going to put a comma in. So if that's true, that means that he met his quota. So now I want to return yes. And how you enter text in a formula is you put quotation marks around it. So I'm going to do quotation mark, yes, close quotation mark. Now, comma, if he did not meet his quota, I want this cell to say no. So quotation mark, no, close quotation mark, and that's the complete if statement. So I'm going to close the parentheses. That's the most basic if statement you can get. If this cell is greater than or equal to that cell, say yes. If it's not, say no. Hit enter. He did not meet his quota. He didn't meet it because his sales were 27,000 and he needed 30,000. Now, what I want to do is copy this cell down to these two. However, there's one thing I need to do. I'm going to show you a quick trick. If you leave cells just like this, B3 and C6, when you copy and paste this formula, the cell ranges are going to change, or the cell references will change. So what I want to do is keep B3 flexible. So when I copy it down, it goes to B4 and B5. So it does the yearly sales for the next two salesmen. But I don't want the cell for the sales target to change. So all you do for that is put your mouse cursor anywhere on the C or the 6 and hit F4. What that's going to do is put dollar signs in front of the 2 and that means it will not change. So I'm going to hit enter. Highlight the cell in the bottom right hand corner, click that and drag it down 2. And you'll see it says yes, yes. So these two guys met their sales target. And now let me show you real quick. See this says B4, whereas up here it said B3. But it still says C6 right here. So that's where the dollar signs come in handy. Now that's how you can do the most basic if statement. But you can also nest if statements. And that's really where they come in handy. So what a nested if statement means is I'm going to calculate the bonuses. So I want to know what the bonus is. And the bonus is going to be based on two things. One, if the salesman met his quota. And two, how many years has he been working at the company? Has he been working at the company for less than five years or five years or more? And if he has, I'm going to have the bonus times by his yearly salary, the bonus percentage. So to do that, I can use a nested if statement. Let's go to the bonus column, equals if, open parentheses. So now I want to enter if he met his quota, 
his sales quota. So if sales are greater than or equal to sales target, comma, now before I move on, I'm going to go to C6, the sales target, and hit F4, because I don't want that cell to change. Notice it puts dollar signs. And now, so if the salesman sales are greater than the sales target, what do I want to happen? Well, I need another if statement. So I'm going to do if, open parentheses, and now I want to test to see how many years of experience he has. So if years experience is less than five, then, so I want the comma, but before I move on, I'm going to go ahead, highlight this cell, hit F4, because I don't want it to change. So if years experience is greater than five, or less than five, I want to calculate the bonus by going 5%, I'm going to hit F4, times his salary. However, so if that statement is false, if he has more experience than five years, comma, I want to multiply 20% by his salary. And that's the complete nested if, but now, so I'm going to do close parentheses, I still need another value if the original logical test is false. The original logical test, remember, is still, did he meet his quota? So if his sales are greater than or equal to the sales target, then do this if statement. But if he did not meet his quota, I want a text response. So I'm going to simply do quote, did not meet quota. Close quote, close parentheses. Now enter. He did not meet his quota. The first guy did not. So I'm going to drag that down. But the bottom two guys did. And I'm going to go over one. The second salesman has a salary of 55000 So he got a bonus of $11,000 because his year's experience is five. This guy only got 2375 for a bonus because he doesn't have that many years of experience. So that's how you can use the nested if for a more complicated calculation. And I'm going to open it up real quick to see the formula. Notice one important thing when you do this. The cells that are not going to move when you copy this down, you need to have dollar signs in front of. So I don't want the amount of the bonus to change for anyone. So I put dollar signs in front of those cell references. The other thing to note, anytime you put text in an if statement, put quotations around it. And also, you can nest a large amount of if statements together. So I could have put another if statement within this if statement. This is basically a simple example of a nested if. And if you want to look at these formulas a little bit more closely, you can just go to the website excelishell.com and download the spreadsheet that you see right here. So that's how you can do nested ifs and also basic if statements within Excel.